Lauren. Lauren. We've um, thick and thin. We've always been there. Some people probably thought it was never going to work. But we powered on through, and here we are today. Um, I think she looks lovely and amazing in what she's wearing and how she looks. But the steamroller brought it all out on you. <laughs> Right, here we go. Oh no, Lauren. <laughs> Actually, I know Pavarotti quite well, or Bill Ailey, Rock Around the Clock. What do you reckon? No? No. For you that don't know me, I'm Lauren's dad. Or supposedly. Yeah, that's good. Um, met Lauren when she was about four or five. I think it was back then, wasn't it? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, well, I met Deb, Deb first, obviously. And then found out she had, she had more than one child. <laughs> um, <laughs> Lauren's been an absolute angel in my eye for the years, many years. Couldn't do nothing wrong. That's how she thought. What do you mean after my sister? No. No, 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 no. Anyway, um, Lauren was there. Always liked to get her own way. Still does. Um, used to call me dad when she wants something. And then carry when she was angry with me. Um, one morning came upstairs with a tray of tea and a piece of paper in her head. I'm like, what's going on here? She's like, you know that car you got? Oh, what, the one you can't afford to get insurance on? Yeah. I've managed to get a really good insurance card. Can I have it? I said, are you sure? Anyway, that was that. I think you still owe me the money for that one. Well, I gave it to you. Okay, whatever. Um, and then the years went back on, and on, and then she got, I was a bit protective over it at first. And then one year at the Free Cups, Lauren disappears. And then comes back with this young lad who says, Hello, mate. I said, Who are you? He said, I'm Jamie, I'm Lauren's boyfriend. I said, no you're not, she's too young. As if. Do you want to play the side, huh? I said, 
No, I don't. But you can buy me one today, Jamie. <laughs> anyway, um, Lauren used to have a lot of brownie points. Lots and lots of brownie points. But they have switched over to a certain person, mechanical minded Jamie, that is absolutely unbelievable. What he can't do ain't worth bothering. He's helped me out with the tractors, all sorts. And he's a diamond, 100%. Proper man. Anyway, um, I think the best thing to do is to say, let's all raise our glasses and celebrate to their lovely marriage, which hopefully will go on for many, many years. Cheers, everyone. Thank you very much. I think that's you next, Dan. Yeah. But anyway, we all made it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how this is going to go because that was all over far too quick for me. Um, Uh, the first I'd like to say is a thank you to everyone for coming. Um, all that have helped out and made this happen is marvellous. Um, the, probably the biggest thank you is to Lauren for sorting everything out. Uh, and all the bridesmaids, Mum, Dad, Kerry, Deb, and everybody else. I'm right, going back to the paper now because we're going off track. I write, all so I write all sorts of things down, but it's not all coming out, is it? Uh, I was going to say thanks to Kerry for his kind words and thoughts. Oh, okay, now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just uh, right. I'd like to I'd like to start with the bridesmaids. I'd like to thank the bridesmaids for helping Lauren calm down today and get her through, because I know that's not an easy task. <laughs> I don't believe that. <laughs> yeah, we know what you normally like. Uh, you all look beautiful in what you wear, so that was a good choice by me. <laughs> yeah, so, how do we meet? Well, that, that was a story that ended up with me running about a mile and a half on one Christmas Eve, no, New Year's Eve. Yes, we did. Yeah, that's when we first started going out. Yeah, but we, we don't talk about that. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking this right up. <laughs> right, pull myself together. Start again. Right. I can't. <laughs> right, that's it. Right, okay, so. <laughs> Yeah, so, right, here we go. Right. Thanks to Deb and Kerry for supplying a wonderful dress. She looks amazing today in what she's wearing and everything. So, all have a big clap and a glass. Thank you. We've got to say thanks to some wonderful people in this room. Uh, Mum for making a cake and everything else she's done. A big cheer. Big cheer. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah, right, so whenever, right, I've got a few gifts for the groomsmen, because they've helped me out. Yeah, what we know we're doing. And the best man. So get get comfortable, boy. Here we've got, we've got Mr. Mark here. Look. Nigel, where's, where's Nigel? Yeah. So they're all for you to relax in and all the stress which I know this man's gone through. <laughs> no, that's what I had wrote down. But. 
We've got all sorts of people in this room. Some have travelled far and wide, especially from the other side of the world, which are these two. Uh, we've been through some funny times, thick and thin, but we've always been there. And no matter what happens, we could be a year on or six months, and it's just how we've left. Um, so they're like true in there for me. So thank you very much for coming and spending all your money to come and see us. So we. Yeah. And my best man. So that was hard, to, not hard to choose because when I fell over and asked Lauren to marry me, after all, after all these years, and Nigel for making it worse for me, I knew the man that I was going to choose because he was always there. When I wanted something, there he was. As a little boy, I used to come and, all right, mister. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I've learned a lot of this, man. So thank you very much. <laughs> the last and not formal, but Lauren. We've um, thick and thin, we've always been there. Some people probably thought it was never going to work. But we powered on through, and here we are today. Um, I think she looks lovely and amazing in what she's wearing, and how she looks. But the steamroller brought it all out on you. <laughs> Lauren, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. <coughs> With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I will share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Okay, I will you take <laughs> Jamie's ring? And say, <coughs> Jamie, I give you this ring. Jamie, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yeah, I do. I did suggest. <laughs> so I think that's enough cobbling from me so all have a glass and a big cheer and I hope you have a lovely evening thank you very much for coming right have we all got a drink we're going to do we're going to do it a million times so we might as well do it again congratulations to Mr and Mrs Crofton You obviously, most of you know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> but if you don't, I'm Dan, Jamie and Lauren's friend for many years. The first time I saw Jamie, he was in a cardboard box on a lorry, for, on an engine cover of Dick's lorry, wherever he is. Where is he? It's like, Jesus, what's going on here? <laughs> We're on our way to Dorset. And then there was this little boy with a steering wheel in the middle of his bike. <laughs> Around the shows, annoying my dad. And it's like, Jesus, who is this annoying little boy? <laughs> and then it started. <laughs> like he said, here mister, what are you doing? Which turned into lots of trouble. Then he come and worked with me at Mix as an apprentice. We did get ourselves in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Ended up having to row test the, the lorries that Jamie had fixed. <laughs> Come on, Dan, let's go down the road. So off we went in this tanker that had been in the ditch. Let's go to Scotland. Yeah, all right, let's go. Flat out. 
I'm not going to cut the twat. This lorry had been in a ditch because the driver said there was something wrong with the brakes. So I turned around at Scotney, I said, right, we're going to do an emergency stop. Hold on. Well, fuck me. <laughs> the lorry went round sideways, and I remember thinking, I don't really know what to do. And I looked at Jamie, and he was holding on for dinner, saying, fucking help me, Dan. <laughs> but I managed to not hit the curb and straighten up. We got back to, not a lot was said all the way back to Flimwell. <laughs> and we went in the office and said to me, yeah, there's definitely something with the brakes on that truck. <laughs> Which Jamie later obviously found out what was wrong with it. Where am I? Ah, there was many times where I didn't see Jamie for a bit and was helping Pops down the shed, as normal, late. He's got to go in the morning. Jamie wasn't there because apparently a sign had jumped out in front of him. And he'd swerved to miss it and hit a tree. But it was Valentine's night, and I think, from what Lauren told me, he was on a promise to go and see her. <laughs> Obviously, years went on working together, mix, and then Jamie left. Well, I think I probably left first, come back, and then Jamie left, and Bart went to Australia. We sort of jumped shit, because we were all quite close together. Jamie goes and does his, helps his dad, and does his own thing. Clever little fucker. <laughs> there isn't much that you can't do. Me and Jamie have always been very close. I've seen him naked. <laughs> we, a lot of us have. <laughs> it ain't nice. <laughs> it, people said like he was a puppy and never had. Not again. Eh? Is it the same one as it was in the church? Well, it's, it was you, wasn't it? <laughs> that was funny. But I have had you as my brother. And the things we have done, I wouldn't have ever been able to do half of the things without you. You and Lauren have been the best friends to me. I can't do any more. Right. <laughs> drink! <laughs> no drink! Yeah. Sorry. Thanks for all for coming. Fill your glasses. I'm going to fill your faces. All have a lovely evening and thank you very much. Secrets that we know Doors that open For us in a moment Turning on